very good morning students before starting today's sessions we'll see that what are the topics we have been covered in our previous session in a previous session we have started a new chapter called as basic concept of oops which has a weightage of 7 marks in that chapter we have discussed introduction to basic concept of oops different styles of programming like procedural programming structured programming object oriented programming and also we have seen the difference between the procedural programming and object oriented programming till those are the topics we have covered into a previous class let us start a session today by discussing about the major characteristics of oops the major characteristics of oops are objects classes data abstractions data encapsulations inheritances polymorphisms are the major characteristics now we'll see one by one what is an object an object are a basic building blocks for designing a program we can also call that the base an object is a collections of data members and associated with a member functions for to represent for to represent you people already know that object oriented programming is for creating an real world entity when you talk about real world entity the object are being used to represent like a person place or table etc but each object is identify by a unique name once again i repeated you that each object is identified by unique name each object must be a member of a particular class if you are if you are selecting an any object that object should be should be a, a member for a, a particular class for an example real world entity when you take an example of real world entity like an apple orange mango banana all those things belongs to a particular class called as a fruits called as a fruits and now we are going to see the next characters that is classes a class is an collections of an objects that have an identical properties common behavior and shares a relations what is a class a class is an collections of an object that have identical properties common behavior and shares a relationship once a class is defined a uh, n number of objects can be created in a class for an example when i tell that a class is a fruit what are the fruits are there they can have a n number of fruits like banana mango apple etc but all those things belongs to a single class that means that the class if one class is created the class can have n number of an objects and class is an user defined data type once again i repeat it a class is an user defined data type a class can hold both a data and functions next character is data abstractions what is a data abstraction it is a process of representing a essential features without including a background detail or a explanation for an example take a print out once an user want to take a print out he just focus his mind to click on to a print once he click on to a print he never bother about how the command travels from the system towards a printer and what is the process it's carried out inside the printer this abstracting the with the user one and the working inside the system we tell that it is a abstractions 
and next one we have data encapsulation data encapsulation is a process of wrapping a data and functions in the, into a single unit we call that as a data encapsulations next character is inheritances what is a inheritance inheritance is a process by which one object can acquire and use a property of an another example example father son father is a class one class and son is an other class son can acquire the property of another class called as in father this acquiring a property from one class to an another class we call that as a inheritances in the inheritances we have base class and the derived class what is base class base class is nothing but the existing class we call that as a base class or a super class and what is derived class the new class is called as an a derived class as i have already explained the example father and a son a father is a base class and a son is a derived class and one more characteristics is polymorphism what do you mean by polymorphism poly means many morphism is is nothing but forms this word is been derived by the greek word polymorphism once again poly means many morphisms is nothing but forms where it is an ability ability of an operator and functions to take a many forms in an in a different situations for an example when we talk about the shape in some situation the shape can change into a triangle the same shape class can have a one more one more shape called as a rectangle the same shape can have a one more shape called as a circle these are the different major characteristics of hoops let me see the again what are the characteristics objects classes encapsulation abstractions polymorphism and inheritances they these are the major characteristics of oops let us see the next topic is the advantage of an oops we'll see the what are the advantages of an oops the program are modularized based on the principles of class and objects it means that the program can be subdivided on the basis of a classes and objects link code and objects all allow related objects to share a common code where the same one object can also share the code of an another objects creations and implementations of oop code is easy and reduces the software development time the concept of data abstraction separates an object specification and object implementation data encapsulation along with functions therefore the external non non member function cannot access or modify the data thus the provide the data security uh, easier to develop a cons complex software because complexity uh, can be minimized through inheritances oops can communicate through message passing which makes a interface a descriptions with outside the systems these are the different advantages of an oops once again we'll see what are the advantage the the program can be more more modularized based on a principles of a classes and objects the link of an code of an objects allowed for the related ob objects to share the common code creating an implementations of a oops code is easy and reduces the software time the concept of data abstraction separating an ob object specifications and object implementation 
data encapsulation along with the functions. Therefore, the external external non-member functions cannot access or modify the another functions that provides automatically that provides you the security it's easier to develop a software software means it uh, if it is a difficult software to it is easy how because we can implement through the inheritances objects can communicate through the message passing which makes the interface descriptions with outside the class and nextly we'll see the disadvantage of an oops the large program once you create an oop program the large program it may lead you for a complex a complexity of a program once it is a large the programming is slow and not it is not suitable for all the programs to convert to convert the objects onto a real world problem it's very difficult oop software development it is uh, deb debugging and testing tools are too standardized we cannot have a small uh, uh, normal testers to test th these type of softwares the polymorphism and dynamic binding also require a processing time due to the overloading of function run times and we'll see the applications of oops what are the applications of oops are the computer graphic applications cad cam softwares user interface design such as windows real time systems simulations and model model modeling artificial intelligences expert systems client and server systems thank you